expected in either the first or second quarter of 2020. During an interview with the Philippine news agency, PNA, Philippine Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana said. The acquisition of multi-role jet fighters is badly needed to protect the country's airspace. PAF currently operates F-50 jets that were purchased from South Korea. The Philippine Air Force has been in need of a new fighter aircraft to replace its aging fleet of Northrop F-5AB Freedom Fighter Light Combat Aircraft since the early 1990s. In the mid-1990s, the PAF shortlisted several fighter aircraft offers made as part of the AFP modernization program and ultimately selected the McDonnell Douglas, now part of Boeing, FA-18CD Hornet, to be its next multi-role fighter. The best attribute on the selection was having twin engines, which allows for a higher safety parameter, especially when one engine fails. The first batch of 12 units was planned, with a possible option of up to 24 more units within the next 10 years. Sadly, the Asian financial crisis of 1997 hit the Philippine economy badly, forcing the PAF to abandon its dreams and making do with whatever is left of their budget after the exchange rate of the Philippine pesos severely dropped and the government reduced its allocations. There were also several offers made between that and the current Horizon 2 phase of the revised AFP modernization program, RAFPMP, although the PAF was not able to take a full grasp of the chances. As part of the Horizon 2 phase of RAFPMP, the Philippine government approved the PAF's plan to revive the multi-role fighter acquisition project, with a phase 1 budget of up to PHP 61.2 billion. Max Defense believes that part of the package includes an integrated logistics support, ILS, package, and all necessary arrangements, equipment, training, tools, documents and technical support, logistics and transportation, and possibly spare parts.